An Iraqi colonel called it the biggest joy since the fall of Saddam. A journalist said that the politicians may have failed to unify Iraqis, but something else had, soccer. It may have been brief, but it was a shiny moment last weekend when Iraq's soccer team beat Saudi Arabia one to nothing to win the Asia Cup. Threats of terrorism had forced the team to train in Jordan, and it wasn't always easy. According to their coach with Sunnis, Shiites, and Kurds on the team, sectarian differences often emerged. And in Iraq, just being a spectator can be fatal. Last week, after Iraq beat South Korea in the semifinals, car bombs went off amid crowds of celebrating fans killing 50 and injuring dozens more. An Iraqi exile in Jordan told a reporter that violence is never ending. Nevertheless, he said a small amount of happiness during a single day is a very big deal. Congratulations, Iraq. That's a page from my notebook. I'm Katie Couric, CBS News.